<laughs> Dr. Hayes. Pat and his bag. This is breaking the net, so I haven't broken anything. Palin's into join the victory. Okay then, so that was the first trailer for Paddington 2. In the actual trailer, it said it was coming out in November, but that's just in the United Kingdom. Here in the United States, I think it's actually not coming out in January because I think it's been pushed. I originally thought it was coming out this year in November, which is why it was like number three on my list of uh, movies I was looking forward to coming out later this year. And uh, I said, you know, if if it wasn't coming out this year, that would be kind of unfortunate because I mentioned it on that list. But that's okay because I can always talk about it again on my uh, most anticipated movies of 2018 list because I definitely will want to talk about it again because Paddington was uh, one of my favorite movies of 2015. First off, I should probably explain to you what Paddington is. Paddington is a series of children's books from the United Kingdom. That's why they're getting it first. There was an anime series of it, briefly. haven't really read any of the books, I don't think, but I have seen some of the anime series. So this film is pretty true to the overall tone of those books. I think from, from what I, I know about the books and the cartoon, even though I haven't read the books, I definitely have heard about them, though. And this movie, if you could technically count this movie as a half of action, half anime to film, which I guess you technically could, because there was an anime show of it, this is like the only, or no, well, not the only, but one of the very few half of action, half animated films, if you can call it that once again, that was really, really good. That was that was great, and it definitely like it was pandering, and the CGI on Titan was actually really good, and he looks very real. I mean, if you saw him in the trailer, you can he's looking in here on the poster, see him. His features are very realistic. I mean, they still kept him uh, somewhat cartoonish looking. They had to keep him a little cartoonish. But you just want to reach out and touch him. But see, he, he just want to reach out and pet him. He's so cute, though. And the movie was so cute. And this movie looks like it's going to be very cute as well. But you see, um, that's probably one reason why it did so well. Because he was as cartoon looking as all the other cartoons. Because uh, some characters just don't have that well in the live action, but Piloton actually does. And, you know, Piloton, it wasn't Panda, it didn't have all these modern references, it didn't have product placements everywhere. It had one product placement, uh, it, had, it had an oil product placement, but the oil product placement was actually really funny, and actually really well put into the movie. It did feel like it was just there, for the sake of it, it actually was a legitimately funny joke, and it actually kind of did tie into the plot a little bit. Uh... And it's funny because the movie, the first one, this one probably will be too, was rated PG, even though the books were for really small children. See, so Will thought it would have been G, uh, but it was PG. I think the only reason why it was PG was because um, the grandma liked to drink scotch a lot in the film, and you see every now and again drinking scotch. She wasn't like like a drunk, though, or anything. Uh but, but, of course, her dick and scotch, uh, ironically, kind of ends up helping with the plot of the first movie, too, without spoiling too much about the first movie, if you haven't seen it yet. But if you haven't seen that, you need to watch it, because it's a, it's a really cute movie. And they probably wanted to make it PG, because I guess they didn't want people to think it was too much for Little Kids, because it was based on a Little Kids book. You know, um, kind of reminds me of Curious George, uh, the movie they did, did of that, except it was only G. 
But I remember, it felt like most of the small children came to see that one. I think it still did pretty well. But when I went to see it, there were not a lot of people. There was... This boy was, was with his grandparents. And he kind of kept making some noise in the film. I got kind of annoyed in him. And I did, did I should have. Especially something like Curious George. And the 2006 Curious George movie was very cute. And I, I really liked it. And enjoyed it. Uh, of course, it was uh, totally animated. Like 2D animation. But it's funny because now they're actually talking about doing the Curious George. Half of actually have animated film. I think it's because they, they saw uh, how well Pineton did. And they saw what a good movie Pineton was. And they were like, you know, we can do that too. And if it's like... Python. If it's like Python, it should be really good. Hopefully, it'll be it'll be more like Python, not most of these other half live action, half CGI hybrids. But uh, I, I think they made it PG though, so maybe there wouldn't be as much watching. And there were still a lot of small children in the theater, but they, they, they wanted to get more of an older audience. And there there were definitely plenty of older people uh, there to see it when when I saw the first one. So that's probably why they made it. PG, but I feel like I remember at this point, I apologize, let's just get back to to this one, and uh, there's not really a whole lot to break down or predict just based on this trailer from what we saw, I mean, there's a scene where, um, Python apparently upsets the she, I think him and the family, um, somehow upset him, I don't know what they do exactly, uh, I don't know how big a role that will really play in the movie, I don't they could not necessarily be a bad guy because the main bad guy seems to be the guy in the night costume and that was kind of weird. Don't really understand why that's there. That's about where things happen everywhere and there was a lot of weird funny stuff I put in the trailer. I mean, some of that stuff did look kind of cheesy but hopefully it'll be cheesy in a way that will work and be endurable. First one didn't have too much cheesy stuff in it. It had maybe some but, but it also had a lot of crazy stuff. They did crazy stuff with animation and they made it feel almost like the picture book that the books were in some ways. It's hard to explain that. You have to see the movie for yourself to kind of get that. So it looks like we'll see some more of that in the movie. Hopefully they won't they won't do too much of that. I get too carried away. Do you think it'll be quite as good as the original? Probably not. Um, probably not quite as good. Uh, if it's not quite as good, I think it will be pretty close to that. Because uh, it still looks very cute. It looks like a lot of the same type of humors there. Even if they did go the extra mile with it. Because it kind of looks like that from the trailer, if you know what I mean. But in the pie, and still looks cute. And Roy Boy's every he looks by Rose every day. You just want to reach out and, and pet him. And um, and the backstory that they mentioned for, for why he can talk in the first movie is actually really interesting and clever. But I won't say what that was, though. If you haven't seen the movie, I won't spoil anything. Because um, cause this isn't the kind of, of a video to where I feel like. I need to spoil anything about the, about the first one for you to get to get this sequel. In fact, you could probably watch the movie and haven't even, see, even seen the first one and still really enjoy it. But that would not be said. You should still watch the first one, too, though, if you get around to it. But, yeah, I hate that we're, we're not getting this movie until January. Uh, I, I can't wait. Well, but actually, I can, though, because it's not coming out in January. But, uh, and it'll be, it'll be worth the way. There's there's other movies coming out until then. Uh, but those are my thoughts and my feelings. And then the, the breakdown prediction, well, it was just, you know, I think the night guy will be the... I'd guy the irritate the chef, and then you know he'll he'll try to do some cleaning service. That's another thing I forgot to mention. Hyde will do that, and uh, and uh, yeah, Peter Capaldi he's in this too. Uh, he was in the first one as well. Uh, the current Doctor Who, who's actually stepping down soon. They're gonna have him do Doctor Who, which uh, that's not something I'll be talking about in this video right now. Maybe I'll mention that in the in a later video, or maybe not. And before I start rambling too much again. Feel free to comment if you like, subscribe if you like, you know, like, dislike. I don't care if you um, agree, let us know, or disagree too. Feel free to disagree, feel free to do whatever. And uh, tell us, you know, tell, tell us um, what some of your favorite movies are um, that are based on things for um, small children, or maybe some of your favorite uh half of actually half CGI and made the films and maybe some of your least favorite as well and just talk about why some of your favorite children's books were as kids and you know talk about some uh, adaptions that you uh, maybe like of them if there are, are some adaptions you like of those and and with that being being said thank you for watching another episode of Fuss Best International 
and have a good day. Good night, everybody.